Okay, this Mishnah and Tamid Daf Lamed Amud Aleph is being learned. Le'ila Nishmas Ochi, Olav Shalom. Le'ila Nishmas Marchi Yisshimin Ben Yerachmiel Menachem. Amar Lahen Hamemuna. The Mishnah says the appointed one said to them. So what the Mishnah is talking about a continuation of the pious of the lotteries that took place. There were four lotteries. This Mishnah. This parak deals with the second lottery. Um, so there were, Kahanim would come that wanted to do the Avaida, and they would stand in a big circle, and they would stick out their hands, and the Kayan, or the, the Mamuna, the Mamuna was either the Skan to the Kayan Gadol himself, that in case the Kayan Gadol became Tame, so he took over. So this was the Mamuna that we're referring to, or I see it's possibly a special Mamuna ala Pais. Someone was appointed to take care of the Pais. So this Mimuna would say to the, the Kahanim that stood around in a circle and stuck their finger out to be counted, he would say to them, Bayu the Hefisu, come and let's do a lottery for the following Avoidus. Miha Shaychet, who's going to be the Shaychet, who's going to Shech the Karban Atamid, Umiha Zairik, Mi Shaychet, Mi Zairik, who's going to Shech, who's going to be Zairik, the Sajagirsa, who's going to be Zairik, the Dam, Mi Midashin, Mi Zveh who is going to, uh, who, who gets the Avaida, who will be awarded the Avaida of uh, cleaning out the ashes from the Mizbech Primi, which is the Mizbech Hazov, inside the Heichel, where the, the, that's the ashes of the Ketiris that was burned every day. Mi Midashin Es HaMenaira, and the Menaira that was lit every day, who is going to clean the ashes of the Menaira? Mi Mala Evarim Lekevesh, who is going, which Kahanim are going to bring up um, the Evarim, the limbs of the carbon tumid after it is skinned and cut up into pieces, who is going to carry it up to the Mizbech to be burnt? So, Mimala Lakevesh, who is going to carry up the, the ram, Parosh, Varegel, the head of the animal, and the regal means the back, Varegel shall you mean the back foot, the right side, Ushteha Yadayim, another Kayin, will carry up the two hands, which means the two front uh, that's called the adaim, the two front legs, the adaim of the animal. Ha'ukitz v'aregel, the tail or the hind part of the animal, v'aregel shall smell, and the back foot, uh, this, the left side. Another kayan was ha'chaza v'hagera, the chest and the throat. Hushte defanes, another kayan would bring up the two sides of the animal, two walls, I think it's called the two flanks, v'hakravayim. And which kind is going to bring up the uh, intestines to be burned, the hasoilis, and of course the flour for the mincha that goes along with the tamid, who's going to bring that up to be burned, the hachavitin, and who's going to bring the chavitin, which was a carbon that was brought by the kain gadol every day, who's going to bring that soilis up, the chavitin, the hayayin, and who's going to bring the yayin for the nesachim, for the carbon tamid's nesachim. So first he would call that out. Bayu v'hefisu, come, let's do a lottery for all these avaydas. Then it says hefisu, he actually did the lottery. Zacha misha zacha, whoever won, won. So I, I think what it means, they explain that it means that um, they made a lottery and the kayan would, the, the memuna would say a number much higher than the amount of the kahanam that were standing around trying to get the schos to do the avaydah. And they would count around this circle, keep going around till they got to the number. They would count fingers. <clears throat> um, and whoever it landed on, he was the shaykhit. And then the 12, there were 13 that are enumerated in this Mishnah. So uh, the next 12 that were standing after this one, that, or after the one that won the lottery that it came out on, and he's the shaykhit, as Atamid, would get the other 12 avoidus. Amalahen, the Mumunah said to them, Tzu ra'u imigiyaz man shechita. Go up, Go out, it says, and go look um, if, um, if, if, if the Zman Shechita is here. So no, Zman Shechita, usually day, is, um, is it's referring to Alois. It's talking about it, the Zman Shechita, Zatamit, it's from Alois HaShachar, from the beginning of the day, as long as it's not Laila anymore, not Neitzah um, But they had to make sure that it was a little bit after Alois to make sure that they don't shecht uh, it by Laila. Im Haraya. If the person that went up and saw that the, the Alois of Shachar is here, I'm a Barkai, he said it's light. The Lashon Barkai is a Lashon that it's light. The sky is light. Masya ben Shmuel, I'm Masya ben Shmuel would say, Masya ben Shmuel was a, uh, at the time of the Beis Hamikdash, 
Hasheni was uh, the, the Memona al Apayis, and Masya bin Shmuel would then say, Heir Pnei Kol, Al Mizrach Ad Shahu Bechevron. Not only Barkai, not only is it light, but is it light that it's all the way to Chevron light? It's a different uh, uh, explanations as to why you need it to be light all the way to Chevron. Maybe it's just an allusion to Chevron where the Ovis are, it should be the Schus, the Tamid should be Nikriv. Bishchus also come with the schus of the Ovis that are buried in Hebron, or Taka, that's how light we have to make sure it is, so it shouldn't be Lila, that it has to be light all the way in Hebron. Vuhu Oimer, Hain, he would say, yes, if that's the case, Amalan, Suve, Viu, Tlem, Melishka Zatlem. So go out of here, I guess this was wherever they were, they first made the pious in Lishka Zagazas, then they went up to the, on top of the Chaima to see the, uh, to see the, uh, I don't know exactly, not the Chaimah, but I'm not sure exactly where they went up to see um, um, if the sun w- had come up, but go out from there and bring a, a sheep, a tle, a se, from the Lishka Satloim, from the chamber in the Beis Amikdash where they held the, so, the se, the, the tloim, the sheep for the Tamid. Bahare Lishka Satloim, the son of a Miksaya Tzvainis Maravis. It happens to be, the Mishnah says, that the Lishka Satloim is in the northwest corner of the base Hamaikid. That's where all the Kahanim were at night. They would sleep in the base Hamaikid. The base Hamaikid was an area that had a fire, so to keep them warm, um, the Kahanim. And there were, and it says, Arba Lishkas Hayusham. There were four, actually, four Lishkas um, were there coming off of the base Hamaikid. Achas Lishkas Atlaim that we just mentioned, the Lishka, where they held the sheep for the Tamid, Achas Lishkas Achaisamais. It was the Lishka where they held the Chaisamais, are the, uh, I guess, the, the vouchers that people would come. They had a system in the base of Mikdash. It was well known that when some, every, every carbon needed Nesachim, and uh, in order, couldn't just everyone come in with wine, so they would, there would be an area where they sold, where they gave out the wine, but first you came and you paid for the Nesachim, you got this voucher, this Chaisam, and this is what you use to go collect the Nesachim. The, it said over there, you're coming to bring a se, you're coming to bring a, a shor, and depending on the type of carbon that you are bringing, that's the amount of the Nesachim that were needed. So the, the third Lishka off of the Beis HaMaikid was another Lishka called the Beis HaMaikid. It was a smaller area that had a fire going in it for them to keep warm. And the fourth was the Lishka, um, the one that was, there was another Lishka going off of the base of Maikid, which was where they made the Lechem upon him. We all know from, from Mishnayis that the base uh, Garmu, there was a family called base Garmu. They were the family that, only, they were the only family that knew how to make the Lechem upon him. And this is the Lishka, the chamber where they made it. The Mishnah continues, Nich Nesula Lishka Sakalim. Then the people that were doing the Vedas Atomid would go into the Lishka Sakalim. Um, which was a chamber that housed all of the utensils that were needed to bring the Tamid and the Karbanas. So, and they took out from there 93 utensils of silver and, of, and utensils of gold to do the Avedis Tamid. And then Hishku Es Tamid Bechais Shel Zahav. They would use a, a cup of gold and, and pour and, and give the, the animal, the se that was going to be brought for the tamid, the keves that was going to be brought for the tamid, they would give it a glass of water so that it should be evil, easy, it should be easy to uh, skin after they shechted it. That's the way it works. The water made it easier to skin. The Mishnah continues that even though um, all karbanas have to be mevukar checked and examined, four days before they're brought. So this was already Mavukar Miba Erev. It was already from already from before. Miba Erev either means before or maybe it was checked. The Tamid had to be checked more than you know the night before also in 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 addition to the four days before. But even though the Mishnah says Shu Mavukar Miba Erev was checked already, it was already checked, it was still Mavakar Nice the Aravukais. They would take torches and they would check it again before they were makar of the carbon Tamid to make sure that it didn't have any mum. And it wasn't a trefa. Um, they used avukais because it was during the day, so a nair or any, no other light would help during the day. They needed a strong light. Misha zacha bedishin mizmecha pnimi avedishin hamenayra. The kahanim that were awarded the jobs of uh, cleaning off the ashes of the mizbech hapnimi, the mizbech hazav, and cleaning out the ashes of the menayra hayu makdimin. So the mission just says an interesting lashon of hayu makdimin. They would. 
um, maktimin. They would go, so either the pshat is maktimin means they, they did their avoida of cleaning off the mezbech apnimi and cleaning out the menaira before the tamid was was shechted, or it means that they went and they took the kalim that the mission is going to enumerate, they're going to specify now the next line. They took those kalim, they had them in hand when the tamid was nishkat, when they brought the tamid, so that they should go quickly and do their avoida. The dalit kalim biyadam. These two, the, one, the ones that had to clean up the ashes in those two places, had four kalim in their hands. Hateni, it was a tena, like a basket type of, uh, type of keli, for hakuz, and it was like a jug type of keli. And it was for, to collect the ashes. It says the tenny was a larger, so that was used for, um, for, the, uh, for the cleaning of the mezbech, which had more ashes, and the one that was used for the menorah was the kuz, was the smaller jug-like that had a small opening and a larger bottom. Ushnei maftachais, hateni, Ushtei maftachais, and also miftachais. They had two keys. That's what these two people went in, because they were the first ones. It says hateni daim tarkiv shows up. The tenny that we just mentioned, that keli, that's like a basket, is like a tarkiv shows of, um, which normally a tarkiv holds three kavim. This one was machzik kavayim v'chetzi. It held a, a two kavim and a half. V'hakuz daim l'kitin gadol shows of, like a large jug of, uh, of, of gold. And, and, and that's, the, that's, it's explaining these two kalim. And then it says, what did they do with the two keys? Um, one of them, they needed to put in a hole in the wall and reach around till their, um, like their arm went in till their armpit in order to open the first door. And the second one went in straight. It's going to explain. He would come to the, Pishpish is a small Pesach, a small opening that's next to the Hatzvaini. So the Mishnah explains what's the Pishpish Hatzvaini. Shnei Pishpish and Hayul Oil Lashara Gadol. There were two small Pesachim, two openings to the side of, to the sides of the Shara Gadol, the large opening to the Hechel. Achas Betzafen Vachas Bedar. One to the north, one to the right. So since the, it was situated on, a, on the eastern wall of the Hechel, so Betzafen meant. Um, the one on the right of the door, and the dorm is the one on the left of the door. But Shabadarim, it says, the pishbish, the small opening, Shabadarim to the left, to the south, lay nichmas by Adam. It never, a person never went in there. All of whom are first, on this opening, it's explained, al yidei yicheskel. Yicheskel, anavi said shenemar, it says a pasuk in yicheskel, vayemer uh, Hashem, vayemer elai Hashem, hashar hazeh, hazeh, sogor yiyeh. This gate will always remain closed. Lo yiftach, it will not be opened. Ve'ish al yavai, by a person shall not go through it. Why? Ki Hashem al okay Yisrael ba, bai. Hashem will go through it. Ve'hoyah um, sagar. And it's closed. That's what the Pasuk says, that Hashem, I, I'm pretty sure, I think it means that Hashem is going to go through that entrance into the Hechel Blasad Lavai by the Bayes Shlishi. And it's the same thing that goes for the Bayes also for the for the earlier but mikdash also that it remained closed. So anyway, the the they they took the one of them, one of those two that did the Dishan, they were the ones to open up the Hechel because they had those Kalim were in the Hechel, they had to do their Vaida. Not al they took the key, Upasak has a pishbish, and he would open the pishbish. Like that way, by putting his hand in through, there was no end, there was no way to open it straight. For some reason, you put your hand in a hole and you reached around and you opened it from the inside. Benichnes lahata, and they entered to the ta. The ta is an area that's behind the wall of the heichel. It's a chamber. It's not. Is it a chamber or an area, enclosed area that was behind the wall of the heichel, and in front of the outside of the heichel. And from there, there would be a door from the Ta. So he went in the Pishbish, he went into the Ta, Taf Aleph. He went into the Ta, and from there, there was a door from the Ta into the Hechel. So there, that door that went from the Ta to the Hechel, he would put in, like the Mishnah said before, Kivan, that he didn't have to reach around. He put the key in straight, and he opened the door to the Hechel. Until he reached the large gate of the Hechel, Higia Lashara Gadol, when he got there from the inside, Hevir Esanagar, he removed the bolt that was on the door, Vesa Poischois, and the locks, Upaschai, Upaschai, and he opened the gate. Lehoya Shechet, Hashechet, Lehoya Shechet, Hashechet, the one shechting the, the Tamid did not shecht it, Ach Shemeashar Gadol Shaniftach. 
and he did not shecht it until he heard the, the, the large gate of the Hechel open. Then he shechted it. Then it says, the Mishnah goes, they even heard this sound in Yericha. They would hear the sound of the large gate opening, the gate of the Hecha. And then it says other things that were heard all the way from the Beis Amikdash to Yericha. Yericha Hayusham in Kol Magrefa. Magrefa was a type of um, instrument that was played in the Beis Amikdash and it had uh, holes in it. it. Seems like a flute type of thing that was shaped like a shovel. Then it says, Mirichai Hayushaimin Kol Ben Arza, Makish Batzil Tzal. In Yerichai Ben Arza was also like, um, I think it was, um, it says he was like the Vekar in the Beis Amikdash. You learn Yuma, you learn, you learn different Nasechtas, you see that someone had to go around waking up the Kahanim for the Avaida early in the morning, and he would bang on a tzilza, like a symbol like of an instrument. And that banging, and he, he would tell the Kahanim to get up, was heard all the way in Yerichai. Um, <clears throat> Yerichai Hashem in Kol HaChalil, it says even the call of the flute that was played in the Beis Mikdash, you could hear in Yerichai. Yerichai Hashem in Kol Givini Karuz, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't learn it right. This means Kol Givini Karuz means Givini was the one that woke up the Kahanim. Excuse me, Ben Arza was Makish Patsilzo. Let me see what that means, I'm sorry. Makish Bat Tziltzo, before 29. Geval, the Tziltzo was a clay Nagina. It was like a symbol. Ben Arza, he was in charge of the clay shear. So back to before me, Yichai Shemin called Ben Arza Makish Bat Tziltzo. Ben Arza was at one Tkufa of the, by his um, Beis Amikdash, he was the one in charge of the clay Megina, and he would bang in the cymbals, so you'd hear the cymbal sound. And Yerichai, Yerichai Hashem Kol HaChalel, the flute, Yerichai Hashem Kol Givini, that's the name of a person that was the Vekar, like I said before, I thought, but it's really this part of the Mishnah, Givini, Karuz, Yerichai, he was announcing, um, y- y- Karuz, he was uh, waking up the Kahanim, Yerichai Hashem Kol HaEitz, Sha'asu Ben Katan, Muchni Lakir, it's also well known that the, the wooden uh, wheel that was made to, to lower and to raise the, the kiar, that it shouldn't become the water inside the kiar that the kanim used to wash their hands, Kiddush Yadayim Raglayim, the water inside shouldn't become puzzle bilina from sitting overnight, so they would dip it, it would go up and down uh, into a, the air of Mayim, so it shouldn't be in the keli, and we, we consider that it's in its own keli, and we know that muchni, uh, um, um, we know that Ben Katim created this Mochni. So the sound of the kier coming up, um, the sound of that wheel coming up, maybe even going down, whatever, the sound of that wheel was heard in Yericha. Yericha Yisham and Kol Hashir, they heard the singing in Yericha, in the Vesem Mikdash. Yericha Yisham, Shemeh Kol Hashayfer, the different blowing of the Shayfer, blowings of the Shayfer in the Vesem Mikdash was heard all the way in Yericha. Yisham, Av Koyle Shokayin Gadol, B'Shashu Masker, Hashem, B'Yem HaKippurim, Yericha. It was also heard that in Yericha you heard when the, during the Avaida on Yom Kippur the Kayin Gadol would say the Shem Hashem, um, and uh, you, uh, that was heard in Yericha. And it also says Yericha Hayu Merichin Reich Pitum Haketayres. And Yericha they even smelled the the, the 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 beautiful fragrance that came from fattening the Ketayres from preparing the Ketayres. Could be it means even the burning. Amar Rabbi Lazar ben Digloi Rabbi Lazar ben Digloi says Izim Hayu La'aba Bari. But la Abba, excuse me, but Are um, There was uh, there was he uh, goats in the Are Hamichver, which was also at quite a distance, I guess, from the Beis Hamikdash. Vahayu misat choice meirech pitum haketiras, and uh, they would sneeze from smelling the ketiras. Now it says back to our uh, our uh, seder of bringing the tamid. Misha zochah betamid mashchai. The person that was zochah in the tamid mashchai vahaylech be Beis Hamipachai. We would take it up to the Beis Hashchita. Right, we talked about the, the the two that were cleaning off the ashes. Now we're to going back to the person that has to shech the the tamid. So Misha zacha betamid mashchai. He would he would schlep it. Would go north in the you know the northern part of the Azara, which was the base of mitpachaim, place where the shlach the shechting place of the karbana. So Misha zachu beivarim and the others that were zeichet to carry up the evarim on the kevish to the mizbech. Hol chinimai would would go with him. Base base on to this area where they did the shechita. Hayu letzvay nai shal mizbech. It was the tzafin of the mizbech. But all of ches amudim and 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 there were eight on the. 
placed on the floor of the base of Mitzrayim, there were eight amudim nanasim, short um, amudim are like uh, short stands, short pillars. Urevoim shel eres al gabeim, there were square pieces of cedar wood on top of them. Va'an kaloyz shel barzel, and there were hooks of metal. Hayu kivuim b'hem were were attached to them. The gimel sidarim lechol echebecha, there were three going one on top of the other. Um, um, three sidarim, there were three um, arrangements of of, of, of these unkelois, these hooks, to each one of these revoim, each one of these pieces of wood that were on top of the amudim, shebohen toilin, with, what did they do on these hooks? They would hang the animal, umavshitin al shulchanes shel shayish. So they would hang the animal after shkita, and then they would, uh, I guess, cut it, and then they would skin it on the shulchan, on the tables there that they had between these amudim of marble. They had marble tables, shebeinu amudim, between the amudim. Misha zachabdishim zeicha pnimi, the person that was zeicha, after, that was after the shkita, so it sounds like from the Mishnah, it sounds like he's going to start doing his amudim. Misha zachabdishim zeicha pnimi, the one that was zeicha to clean out the ashes from the mizbech haktairis, nichnes, he went into the heichel, benotol uh uh and he uh, took the tenny with him, that uh, the basket, gold basket or the metal basket. He put it in front of him. With his hands, he would uh, k- collect together the ashes. And he would put the ashes in the tenny. But in the end, when it was hard to collect them with his hands, he would sweep the rest. Either sweep it straight from the Uzbech into the tenny or into his hands and then into the tenny, v'yinichai, and he would leave the tenny, the tenny there, next to the Mizbech Hazav, v'yatza. And he would go out. He didn't remove it with him. He left it there. Misha zacha b'dishan ha the person that was zacha to do the uh, the cleaning out of the ashes of the menorah, nichnes, he would come in, umatza beiz neirais, mizrachis, the girsa, the easy, the girsa that I, that, that, that I'm going to learn here is umatza beiz neirais, mizrachis, he would find the, when you walked in, the menorah was kind of not in front of him, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but it was facing towards him where you saw eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one going away from him. In other words, the menorah was from, um, it was not from north to south, but it was, it was lit from east to west. So when you went in, there was the candles that were further east, were closer to him, and those two dulk him. It's a, it's a big shy about which two, but it says two of them would usually remain burning. It was a nace. Sometimes it would remain burning until the next day. So it says, so what you did was medashin es hashar. You would clean out the ashes from the other five, because there were seven uh, candles there, seven lights. Medashin es hashar, you would clean out the others. Umeniach es elu, and you would leave these two burning dolkim, bim kaiman, burning in their place. Matzan shekavu, what happens if on the day that this person came in, he found that the two Mizrachim, the two closest to him, are out. Midashnan, then he would not clean it out, but just get it ready to be lit. Umadlikan minha delukim, mina dolkim. If there were other, those other five, any of them were still going, he would light them from them, take a fire from them. Vachakach midashin es and then he would go to um, clean out and get it ready. Cleaning out means to get it, to clean it out, the ashes, and to put in a wicks and get it ready for the lighting later. Um, now, the reason why the, the Mishnah doesn't really go into this, but it says in other places that they separated. It's learned out from a Pasuk that the Dishan of the Menorah was done in two stages. It wasn't done altogether all seven. It was done five and then two. Something of the Pasuk says, Babaiker, Babaiker, sounds like there were two, um, um, there were two, um, there were two, um, two Dishans. What's the exact Pasuk? It says, Babaiker, babaiker, behei tivoya saneiras. Sounds like when they ready the neiras for lighting, it sounds like there were two sets of preparation for that, and uh, therefore it's split that way. Um, and then it says, the even hoysa lefnea menaira, there was a stone in front of the menaira, uba gimel malais. There were three steps on this, the stone was three steps. She'aleha koyin I made. Um, and this Kayan would stand on top of these, he would go up these steps to be able to reach the Menorah to clean it. And he would prepare 
be medashin and be native to prepare the neiras to be lit. Umeniach has akuz, and then um, the koyin that did this avoda of of medashin as hamenayra would leave the kuz where the ashes were from the dishon, and he would leave it al malashni on the second step of those three steps viyatsa viyatsa, and he would go out. Hadran alach amr lahem hamamuna this. Learning should be Leila Nishmas. Harav Yosef, Harav Mordechai Yosef Shimon Ben Yerachmiel Menachem. All of us shalom.